Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this analysis. After the elections in August 9th, either Raila Amolo Odinga or William Samoy Ruto will definitely become the president of Kenya and ascend to state house. But before that happens, both of them have got several obstacles that they must face on their way to ascend to power. We want to look at some of these obstacles that may, may stand on the way of William Samoy Ruto before he becomes the president of this country. William Samoy Ruto has traversed this country. He has campaigned in every corner of this country. He is an orator. Given a chance, William Samoy Ruto explains himself so well to his people. He has fashioned his campaign around a youthful generation. He tells them that he will take care of them. He has come up with a, an economic model called bottom up where he says that he will lift up the common man. He will give money to the common man to grow. In fact, he says kazi ni kazi, meaning every job counts, however little it is. This is a promise that he has given to his people. And he says that his government is going to look at the people at the bottom of the economic pyramid. William Samoy Ruto has a host of other leaders that are trying to help him campaign to get power. He has got the Amani National Congress Party leader, uh, Musalyam Davadi. He has the Ford Kenya leader, Moses Wetangula. He has a host of other smaller uh, party leaders like Amazon Kingi of the PA. And then he has got his running mate, Rigadi Gashagwa, who is trying to ensure that they hold grip to the electorate in central province. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not subscribed to this channel and you are watching it maybe for the first time, I want to request you to click that subscribe button because this is the only support that you can give this channel to grow. If you have subscribed to all our subscribers, I want to say thank you very much and I want to show my gratitude to you for taking this channel to where it is. We are already at a thousand and we want to grow together. Now, William Samoy Ruto will only become the president of Kenya if he unsurmounts the following. Number one, he has an enemy by the name Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta. Uhuru is the president of this country. In 2013, they formed a coalition together with William Samoy Ruto called the Jubilee. And in that coalition, they agreed that Uhuru was going to do his two term, that is five years plus another five years, and usher in William Samoy Ruto to do another two term. But it seems that their relationship did not, they were not getting along so well. And in the middle, after Uhuru had uh, clinched power for the second term in the year 2017, they fell out completely. And William Samoy Ruto feels that Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta betrayed him because he feels that Uhuru should have uh, supported his bid to become the president as he had promised his people. But Uhuru feels that Ruto is a stubborn boy who wants to inherit his father's land before the father gives him that authority. So William Samoy Ruto went to Uhuru's backyard. He actually went to central province, took the soldiers of Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta, people like Ndindi Nyoro, Alice Wahome, Rigadi Gashago is now the running mate, Kimani Ichungwa, and many politicians from Central have now rallied their support behind William Samoy Ruto. William 
went ahead in the by-elections and he contested against President Uhuru's wish. He defeated the president even in his backyard in Kiamba. This has left the president a very infuriated man. And in fact, the anger is manifested in all the actions and speeches of the president. He has vowed to teach his deputy a lesson. Right now, the president, instead of honoring his promise to support William Samoy Ruto, he is uh, supporting the fiercest opponent of William Samoy Ruto, Raila Amolo Odinga. The president has the sword. The president is the commander-in-chief of all the armed forces. He controls the armed forces. He controls the police and the military, both the Kenya Army, Navy, and the Air Force. And you know what that means. And the president has vowed that Ruto William will not see power, will not get anywhere next to power in these elections. In one of the meetings in Sagana, I think it was Sagana 3, he said that William Samoy Ruto can wait if he wants to be the president of this country, but not this year. And so the president is one big obstacle that William Samoy Ruto must deal with if he has to become the president of this country. William Samoy Ruto has mentioned that Kenya cannot be ruled by only two families. He means that the Kenyatta family is one of them. And he has said that in his government, he is going to deal with the dynasty. He feels that their families who are the founding fathers of this nation, that it's uh, the Kenyatta family, Jomo Kenyatta, and the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga family. And William Ruto says that a time has come when a common man, a person whose father was not part of the struggle for independence, should be given a chance to rule this country. And he has really inflicted fear in the Kenyatta family. The other time, they even uh, mentioned uh, the mother of Kenyatta, Mamangina, in bad faith. And so William Samoy Ruto has developed an enmity between him and the president. And he must unsurmount the president if he has to become the president of this country. Number two, William Samoy Ruto must unsurmount his opponent, the Azimio presidential candidate, Raila Amolo Odinga. William and Raila were buddies in the year 2007. They campaigned together and they believed that, that their victory was robbed from them by, uh, by the late president Emilio Mwai Kibaki of the PNU. Back then, William played a very pivotal, uh, pivotal role in the party and rallied support behind Raila Molodinga. In fact, he gave Raila Molodinga a 90% victory in Rift Valley. But William seems to be an, a very ambitious man. And in the subsequent uh, years, William ditched Raila Molodinga when Raila thought that he needed William most. In 2013, when Raila was making another bid to become the president, and he believed that this time, th that time, he was now going to win, William did Raila Odinga. He accused Raila of uh, masterminding plans to take him to The Hague. And he whipped emotions of his supporters in Rift Valley together with the uh, current president. And they said that if there is one man who is taking them to Hague, it is Raila Amolo Odinga. And Rift Valley ditched Raila. They campaigned for the Uhuruto bid to become the president. And Uhuru and Ruto became the president and the deputy president uh, respectively. That has made Raila a very bitter man with Ruto. William Ruto again accused Raila Amolo Odinga of evacuating his people from Mao. In his own con uh, co consideration, he thought that Raila should have left the Kalenjin uh, uh, residents to stay in Mao because they voted for Raila Odinga. Raila on his part thought that uh, the preservation of environment was much bigger than 
the people who voted for him. And so Raila sacrificed his bid and he suffered severely politically, courtesy of William Ruto. And so Raila Molodinga has a chance to retaliate. He has a board that William is not going to see power. The other thing about Raila with Ruto is that Ruto tried to infiltrate the strongholds of Raila Molodinga. He went to coast and took Amazon Kingi. Thanks to Joho, because he has not managed to penetrate deeply into the, the, the coast. Coast has become impenetrable. He tried going to Nyanza through Governor Okoth Obado. He tried it in Western. But Raila seems to have maintained the support in those areas and is not letting go. Raila Odinga has the support of the deep state. Raila Odinga has the support of, of, of the president. There is one place that has never voted for Raila Odinga. It is the central. And that is where William Samoy Ruto has uh, the strongest uh, support. But Raila, through the running mate, Martha Karua, seems to be gaining popularity in central in such a swift manner that it is worrying the Ruto camp. If Raila manages to snatch even 40% in central province, then William Samuel Ruto must think twice. Raila knows very well that this is his last bid. Raila has become of age. I, I think he's uh, in his late 70s, 78 or 79. If he misses a chance to become the president of Kenya this year, then it means after five years, he will be tired. Mze has really done his politics in Kenya. He has spent his days fighting for the uh, welfare of the nation, of his people. And truth be told, if you give Mze another five years, if he will not be, uh, he, will, he shall have not ascended to power, then I think it will be over for Raila Odinga. And if you consider these two factors, his age and the fact that William Samoy Ruto, you know, betrayed him in 2013, then I can assure you that he's not going to let go. It is this chance, it is now or never for Raila Molodinga. He's part of the dynasty that William Samoy Ruto is talking about. He's part of the dynasty that William Samoy is saying that is going to deal with. William Samoy Ruto must also consider his international relations because it is very important for any presidential candidate to tell the world how he relates with them. Uh, a few months ago, William Samoy Ruto slipped and said that there, we, we need, that Kenyans need to keep uh, a lot of cows to get milk to, to, to export to Congo. And he said that Congo is a very big land with a lot of musicians just playing music. They don't even know agriculture. They don't even know how to keep cows. This one created a rift between Ruto and even the ambassador of Congo uh, to Kenya complained that those were reckless utterances. In fact, it forced William Ruto to apologize and he said that he was quoted out of context. And so William Ruto must amend his international relations, his relations with the other countries. It has been seen like William Ruto is a buddy to the Ugandan government. But recently, Uhuru has uh, met Museveni twice. And it, it, it seems like it is changing. Uhuru, using his power, seems to have gone to Museveni and told him that, you see, I want to leave Raila Muldinga in your hands. He's the incoming president. William Samuel Ruto, apart from a certain, there's a maiden visit that he made to to US and the UK where he complained about uh, the plans to rig him of his victory. He has never traveled. He's not traveling much to any country. We've not seen this in him. And the people think that he really needs to invest in this part. He needs to invest in his international relations. He should show his people that he has a good relationship with the, the, other, com uh, the, the other countries, especially the West. US, UK, and all that. And so if he works well on his international relations, I can assure you, he will become the president of this country. If he doesn't, because it is the US and the UK, those Western countries that will determine. If they do not want you, you will not get to power. 
The other thing that William Samoy Ruto must work on if he, be, he has to become the president of the country is there is a notion around William Samoy Ruto that he is, is a, a land grabber and he's got this appetite for, for, for stealing from the public coffers. Every time there's a meal goes to campaign, you will hear this happening. That he's, uh, you will see, hear people like uh, Junet Mohammed asking the crowd, Muizini Nani to, to mean who is a, a thief in this country? And they have cautioned, and in fact, if you ask Kenyans, they believe that Ruto is a land grabber. They have mentioned, even the other day, on the, during the Madaraka day, uh, the president talked about it. He was referring to the to the Western Hotel. We, the, we saw Ruto, or the police, or uh, uh, chasing away and throwing tear gas to to a school next to that school next to Western Hotel. And it was believed that it was Ruto who wanted to grab that part of the land that engineered the the, the, the you know the tear gas against the children. And this, this notion is not working well for William Ruto, both internationally and, 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 and in Kenya. He should try, in, in fact, very many people say that Ruto has never uh, campaigned on a platform of corruption. You see, the Hazimio has made it very clear. Martha Karo says that when they get to power, they will have zero tolerance to corruption policy. And they say that they will jail, jail all the thieves, those who are stealing from the public coffers. But William Samoy Ruto, when he gets a chance of talking about corruption, he says that we should not politicize, you know, corruption. And so this is something that William Ruto must work on if he has to win the, 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 the support of people who seriously believe that corruption is a disease in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, William Samoy Ruto must work on himself and the party. On himself, he is his own enemy. He is a bitter man. If you look at William Ruto, the way he is giving, the other time he told the dynasty that he's giving them a few days they have to go, he will deal with them. I think two days ago, he chased away the media from his, 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 his meeting. This does not aga well. If you try to mess around with the media, I can assure you this is not going to, to, to really hit him very negatively. On one side, he cried that the, that the media is giving him a blackout or, or little coverage. And when he has the opportunity to, to, to be with the media, he chases them away. This does not aga well with William Ruto. When, in, in, when he was in an interview with Joe Ageo, he really untwisted Joe Ageo. If you ask him a question, he tells you is that the only, he's, he's, he's trying to, to micromanage the interview. William Ruto must work on himself, his anger, the way he handles the media. Because if he's not careful, the media can bury your political ambitions. Everyone knows, all the politicians know that the media is very important if you have to clinch to power. William Ruto must work on his party. This sibling rivalry, the Susan Kehika and Gunjiri, Haluale and, and, and Malala, or Aisha Jumwa and, and Amazon Kingi, or, or if you look at the governor of Machakos, Alfred Mutua, and, and, and his counterpart, uh, who, what is his name? The, the one who wants to uh, contest for the governor on a, on a UDA ticket, you will correct me, we can go to the interactive session and give Mudama, Johnson Mudama. These are wranglers, wranglings that will really give him a lot of headache. Uh, look at people like uh, the, uh, the Gatundu South member of, uh, of parliament, Moses Kuria, and you look at the, the governor, the, 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 the one who is contesting for governor who say that he's not going to be part of his caravan. There is a lot of wrangling in, in his party and he should arrest this. If he doesn't, the Azimi will take advantage because if Moses Kure is going to, 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 to contest and then William Kabogo is also contesting, I can assure you Nyoro, who is the Jubilee candidate, will get votes and win. And Ruto might also find it very difficult. He should work on his party. He should work on the structures. He should work on how... If we Look at, for example, when Moses Kuria was actually... I think they disagreed with the Rigathi Gashagwa. He came out in the media and start, started saying that William has got penchant 
of, 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 of carrying out voters from one place to the other, that is recycling voters, that when they are in Kiambu, they are the same, same voters. He comes to Nairobi, the same, same voters. You see, he should manage his but in such a way that even if there is a little disagreement, they should not come out to spill the beans in public. I believe William Samoy Ruto is a charismatic politician. He can be the president. He can make it. But those are obstacles that he must unsurmount. Ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that if he doesn't, then he's not going to become the president of this country. That is my take on William Ruto. You can, we can disagree or agree on this we can go to the session and tell me you can give me feedback on my video again i want to thank those who have subscribed kindly if you have not subscribed so that we can grow our 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 channel together thank you very much